Okay, I watched Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels last night with Jason Statham. Well, I already love him anyhow, and I love his acting, and I love the story behind how he got into acting. You know, that bit in the beginning of the movie where he's sitting there hustling these people with all of the stolen jewelry and stuff? Statham used to actually do that in real life over there in London or, you know, out there in the boroughs and townships. So, yeah, that was kind of like art imitating life for him for a few minutes, so it's no wonder he did so well at it. But I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. I, I think I might, I might actually watch it again today just because I liked it that much. It, it's got all kinds of crazy, you know, action in it. If you can get into gangsters at all, then this will be kind of a fun movie because it's got, you know, gangster activity in it. It's got, you know, drug-selling gangsters that are clueless, you know, so that was kind of fun. And it's just, the, the only hard part about it is at first your ears have to kind of get used to the accent and deciphering that accent because their, their brogue, their, their English brogue is very strong. So, you know, at first, the first couple minutes of the movie, my mind was sitting there saying, you know, breaking through the accent. But once I got through it and I was really into it, you know, the accent, I barely heard it. You know, maybe I was English in a previous life. I don't know. I don't have very many issues with most accents once I've listened to it for a couple minutes. But, um, yeah, no, I really, really liked this movie, though. It's just... It, it had a lot of really funny parts in it. It had a lot of really good action sequences in it. You know, I mean, and it was just funny the way everything kind of fell into line for them by the end of the movie. Oh, and it's got Sting in it. You know, Sting in a movie, which is pretty cool, as a bar owner or a pub, you know, a pub owner. So that was really kind of cool. It doesn't say a whole lot, but it's just cool to see Sting. Sorry, I like him. Yeah, but then, you know, they they picked a good one on that one. This is, this is another Guy Ritchie film, and I kind of like Guy Ritchie films. Some of them are only okay, but the ones that he does good on, he does really good on, and this is one of the really good ones. And so I would tell anybody, watch this movie, and maybe even watch it more than once. It's one of those types that you can watch it more than once and still enjoy it. I just, I, I love this movie. As I'm a big Statham fan in the first place. So, yeah, I think he's, he's hot as hell. He's just, he's a really good actor. So I, I'm a really big Jason Statham fan anyhow. But, yeah, he did really good. And I think this was one of his earlier roles, too. You know, I mean, so you kind of get to see him as he was in the beginning, before the accent got tamed down and... You know, that kind of stuff. So it was really cool, because I believe Richie was one of the first um, director-producers that he ever worked with. I think. I can't remember completely, but I think so. So check out the film, though. It's Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. It's really good. Really fun. I, I just, I was wide awake the whole time. No issues with drowsiness. Nothing. I like this film. I thought I, I more than liked it. I really liked it. I loved it. So, yeah. Check it out. Jason Statham, Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. It is set over there in England, so you got to work through the accent at first. So, other than that, I have really no negative things to say about this film. Nothing. Nothing negative except for at first, you have to deal with the accent. But once it gets in your head and you can hear through it, then you're good. And not everybody has that strong of the brogue. It's just a few characters. So, yeah. I have nothing bad to say about this movie. Just watch it. You'll like it. If you like action, if you like a little bit of comedy in your action, if you like a little bit of drama in your action, you'll like it. And the action's a little bit different. It is a Guy Ritchie film, so you kind of have an idea what to expect there. But it's good. Just check it out. It won't hurt you. Right? All right. Thank you for listening. I was I got all excited about the movie. So, But thank you for listening, and I will talk with you guys later. Bye.